This is Real Naughty. You're welcome to Real Naughty. You're welcome to Real Nollywood. Alright, it's all about the film industry in Nigeria and in Africa and I want to say that film is the biggest propaganda that we've got. Well, this is Real Nollywood. My name is Colin Stock and you're welcome on board. Today we'll be sharing some excitement that has happened recently in the motion picture industry in Nigeria and the diaspora. Like I said, it's the African Movie Academy Awards, but we'll before we delve into that, we're going to look at different segments we've got on the program talking about true Nollywood story, knowledge is just just in, making of blockbuster films and current events that's currently ongoing in the industry. Industry on not event not forgetting Nolly Capet Retro and Moment all coming for you on this program all right we're going to be starting out with Nolly just 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 Nolly just 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 The 11th Abuja International Film Festival announces nominees for its 2014 Film Festival, which opens from the 23rd to 26th the season at the Silverbed Galeria Abuja. Best Picture Film, the nominees for Best Picture Film are Invasion 1897 by Lars.Odua and Maswe, Lord and Romance, Danjuma DJ, Dreamwalker, Neville Osai. Twist of Fate, Finger Middle, Where Talent Lies, Obike Ikenna, Lax Silhouette, Charles Mwabai, and Irubi Adebayo Tijani. And that's our best feature film, that's the first category. Our best feature film foreign in that, the nominees for best feature film foreign. Best feature film foreign are Chinese, Chinese Zodiac, China, The Grand Master, China, Walking to School, China, The Major, Russia, The Superstition, Uganda. Just just it. I don't want to marry now. Halima, you are too young to understand. You are young and this is the right time. Stephanie Linus recently released the official thriller to her next feature title, Dry, Story on the VVF Disease. Are you sick? I told you, Dr. Zara, these people can be crazy! I want to be a girl again. Can you get that for me? Oh. To, to curb this horrible outbreak. Oh. Oh. Stay safe, stay safe, stay in your place. Yeah. Lock your doors, clean the yard, clean the whole oh, place. Liberia born Ghanaian Ed Weston releases a documentary on Ebola. Hey guys, my name is Ibon Nelson, and I'm joining Ed Weston to help create awareness about Ebola. Just just it. Kept searching for a time and a season when we'll have enough resources and the way with all in order to take, do a film until the opportunity came in 1992. Surge of wonderful African films from all over the continent. It's amazing to come all the way to Nigeria to uh, participate in something where the arts are being elevated. When I talk about um, acting to my students, I tell them that acting is 20% talent, which is the gift that God gives you. A lot of them wanted Ramsey to play the role I played, which is Shola. It was going to be a stereotype, you know, because putting Ramsey in that role, it would just be the normal Ramsey that everybody knows. I decided to change it and, you know, play on people's intelligence.
Today on True Nollywood Stories, Abia State Bond filmmaker Chipudi Joseph Obasi. He is a writer, director, and editor, a graduate of computer science from University of Nigeria in Suka. He has worked on various projects which include the Dumb Kid and Virtual Cases, both short films. His feature film debut is the surrealistic art house flick Jim and Joan, which was screened at the Echo International Film Festival. Critically acclaimed as the most daring film at the festival and compared to Lars von Trilla's expressionism. You know, not even talk anything. If you don't forget, say, I shall not ask you be. I don't want to be concerned. No worry. CJ has also worked as an editor on other productions such as Apostate, a future film, and commercial for various brands. He is currently in final stage of post-production for a horror thriller titled Ojuju under his production name, Fairy Film Company. He shares with us how he journeyed into the world of film. He calls it a calling. It wasn't until um until I had finished school, finished service, uh, I was working with an ICT company in Abuja. That you know, I just felt had this you know emptiness. You know, I felt like um, time was ticking, and I wasn't really fulfilled, fulfilling my destiny. Because for me, film was you know it was such a grand thing. Every time I think about film, I don't think about film on a on a cerebral level. I always think of it as you know a calling, you know, like a, a mission in life. You know, and um, all those you know big pictures I saw as a kid, Lawrence of Arabia and you know 39 steps and so on. All that the large picture of what film meant to me as a child, you know, was for me a soul thing. And as soon as I, I you know quit and decided to pursue I never looked back. CJ Obase actually started out self-taught, having been encouraged by the success stories of filmmakers that he has had strong admiration for over the years. I would say self self-taught. You know, um, at first I wanted to go to film school, but you know, the film school that I had in mind was um, quite expensive, and um, I didn't see how I was going to be able to afford you know tuition that was you know in the realm of millions, and but. I knew that I really wanted to do this and the people that I had, the people that I, I, I had strong admiration for as filmmakers, um, I was more or less, um, um, should I say, um, encouraged by their history as filmmakers, um, by the fact that they did not go to film school. Now, I have nothing against film school, but um, I felt that if you love film enough, if you really genuinely have a pure and an unadulterated love for film that nothing absolutely nothing stops you from pursuing it you know from pursuing it and deciding to be exactly a filmmaker which is what i did new from the stables of fairy film is the movie titled ojuju the ojuju story is a funny story um I never planned on making any film called Ojuju. Uh, maybe um, a film of the genre, but not a film called Ojuju. Um, the way it happened was, I, I've been planning this screenplay since 2011. This screenplay, um, which is a film I want, I want to make, you know, um, probably after Ojuju. But I, I've, I've been planning this screenplay for the past three years, and I've just not been able to land the budget for it. And I've been thinking that I should do something smaller since, you know, it seems that since I've been working on that particular project, um, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. And the bigger it gets, the harder it is for me to, you know, get the budget, um, the funding for the film. I decided to work on something smaller. I didn't use the word zombie because I didn't feel, I felt like if such a thing was to happen and people started manifesting symptoms, say symptoms like um, rabbit symptoms or, or river blindness related symptoms, as a result of, you know, drinking polluted water or eating contaminated food, or you know, being you know beaten by someone who has a ravenous appetite, so to speak. And if all these things were to happen, what would they call such people? You know, and first thought that you know flashed my mind was Ojuju. So that was you know um, 
the, the first thing, because like, for me, it would symbolize something scary, something unexplainable, something um, that haunted people. And that was the best way I could describe the, the phenomenon, if such a thing was to happen. Yes, it is a horror film, but though it has other elements, such as uh, thriller and comedic elements. You know, I, I've always been a fan of genre filmmaking, so I, I like to infuse as many elements of a particular genre, so it's not, you know, um, strictly um, sticking to a particular, you know, um, style. I'm Chukudi Joseph Obasi, and you're watching Real Nollywood. My life's like a summer way, oh I know, this love don't last. Look at me, tell me what you see. And, I, and I'm, I am, I am, I am sure you will not be disappointed. Wow, um, it's a mix match. Trust me, it's a mix match. You don't want to go there, man. But I'm seeing the whole of Niger Delta. Yo, dude, man, it's a mix match. Now some call me a senator, but it's a mix match, man. You don't want to go there. Good. It feels good. Trust me, it does feel. It, it feels good, and it goes a long way to show that um, I am putting in my best, and, and basically what I'm doing is appreciated. That it's, that's why it's it's going this far. And you you didn't move, make you want to see down. Girl, I um, this is just a Sergio suit, and um, I can't remember what the shred is, but, but dude, man, you know, brothers, we, we don't pay so much attention to details, you know, we just like to look good. I really want to be part of this new evolvement and um, that's why I'm here. Nollywood is evolving. Honestly, there's going to be like a rapid a rapid boost in like in the next say two years. You know, I'm, 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 I'm excited that it's happening in my day, you know, so I'm glad to be, to be here today to experience this. Um, I like keeping an open slate when I want to see a movie. So I'm really not like um, having stuff at the back of my mind as I what to expect. I just want to come to the cinema, see what um, um, the director has painted for us to see then. Afterwards, I'll be able to um, like um, pass the journey to the movie. I saw the thriller and I was glued to the TV. I'm like, is this a Nigerian directed movie in New York okay. and by the time I got to know who directed it yeah. happens to be a brother, a friend, someone I really really respect and I'm like you know if, if it, there is this joy in you when you see when you see a great work that was done by somebody you, you know, know yeah. there's this extra joy inside you know, of you. yeah like so for me it just blew my mind and I'm like I'm not gonna miss this night for anything we've been together for three years I'm 26 it'll be a blessing if I got pregnant Nous sommes braquettes, s'il vous plaît, mon bébé. Kiki Touré, Pestache. Um, the title of this one is Public Property. It's a dramedy. Since I was this late, 96 step one. Can you see? Yeah. Thank you. In three, two, one, and...
Action! So the rehearsal dinner. George is going to be so surprised to see you. Uh, yes, I bet he will. Oh, God. It's been a long time since we saw each other. He, oh, he's missed you so much. Um, I mean, I remember just the sad face he had when he was telling me he'd lost contact with you when you moved to Tokyo, China. Uh, actually? Well, it's um, a serious issue. I like to always treat social um, issues or past messages with my screenplay because I wrote the screenplay. On this production, I'm serving in six capacities. I'm one of the executive producers alongside my husband, Carl Raka. Um, also producer, screenwriter, actress. <laughs> um, what else? I'm the art director as well. <laughs> And action! Hey you! <laughs> so did you talk to him? Okay, so what did you say? We have Omo Mi Dada. She's done a couple of stuff already in Hollywood, both in film and television. Um, I saw her on a, a TV series and I was like, okay, she's feisty and invited her down for over for the casting. I had a close casting. And yeah, we settled, settled for her as the character Pamela. Have fun, baby. Have fun. <laughs> The latest revelation in Nollywood is Sika Osei, who's um, also a TV presenter. She's Ghanaian. You've probably seen her on television. She's an amazing, talented actress. Um, it didn't take long for her to just become the character Joy. She's actually playing a Ghanaian girl too in the movie. We're standing by in two, three, and action. So the rehearsal dinner, George is going to be so surprised to see you. I bet he will. He will. I play Joy and she's a Ghanaian girl. Um, she's naive and daddy's girl. She's very spoiled. Um, and she falls in love with George. Well, when he's with me, his name is George, who's a con artist. Um, but she's the third victim. There's Miriam and there's Ev um, Evelyn and there's, there's Joy and I play Joy. Joy, I'd like you to meet Evelyn Hunter. Hi. Evelyn, this is Joy Amato. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And this is Shola, Evelyn's friend. Okay. And this is Evelyn's sister. Femi Jacobs. First of all, um, a, the script is a beautiful script, right? There's this, um, it's a, it's a, there's a love triangle kind of story, you know. Uh, it's a story of a man who's a Casanova, you know. Um, but basically, I'm doing it because, um, because I'm, I should use friend. Kiki O'Malley. I play the character Miriam, who's a sophisticated, classy, strong woman, and she has been wronged. So my role basically is just to form an alliance with the lead character, Evelyn, played by Ashwin Yeraka. You know that to get, a, should I say, judgment or retribution. It's been a lot of fun. Everybody has a good rapport. There's been a lot of talk, a lot of play, and there's been a lot of hard work as well. So I've been having fun. Well, you could say we are really Yeah. So I like the way your eyes traveling and come back. So this is better. All right. If you're just tuning in, it's real and it's Nollywood and it's stakeholder in the industry. You love what we do on this platform. It's simple. There are numbers in your television screen. Just SMS details of your own intended event that has to do with the motion picture industry in Nigeria. I will be at your service. Remember, people who say this time with that number do not say own or buy parody copies of Nigerian film because it's killing the industry. And I want to say it's about time we begin to make film that it's more like a satire or 
mirrors the society and that is film making for change it can happen with you so if you stay on any industry begin to try and uh, think about investing your money in those films like that uh, that's the only way we can change the society to have a better nigeria and a better nation all right wonderful people that's all we can bring for you on this episode of real nollywood but remember to stay with us same time on the station we'll take a look at what is happening on the other side of the motion picture industry in nigeria all right i want to say a very big appreciation to Piro and work collection for making me look good on the show and you too <laughs> you're not looking bad so let's keep a date my name is Collins Talker. Bye-bye.